Alright guys, welcome back to our Let's Play series with Taekwondo. Um, so just so you guys know, last time we left off, I was actually down there in my, uh, in my cow area. Hello, Mr. Cows. Uh, I haven't, haven't had much happen with them yet, just because, uh, it did just happen. But, um, I did kind of go on a little bit of a mining trip, uh, just off camera, because I needed some materials and didn't figure that you guys would need to see that and uh while i was doing that i actually found a uh, zombie spawner so um i think i'm gonna go ahead and head to bed and then in the morning when i wake up we're actually gonna go make a uh xp farm or mob farm for uh, these zombies um so let's go ahead and do that i'm gonna need to collect some wood uh for signs uh let's go ahead and head this way because there's a lot of spruce trees here well, um, I'm gonna need oh, a creeper. Haha, -ha. he never saw me coming. Um, we're gonna need about mm, let's go with 17, 16 signs somewhere around in there. Uh, and we're gonna also need some buckets of water. Uh, and I think you know that should just be about it. Um, if you feel like getting fancy, you can use like a hopper and a chest, but there's really no need for it. So let's go ahead and collect all this wood to make my signs, and uh, we'll head on down there. It was uh, pretty lucky, actually. Uh, this will be the first time I've actually made a uh, a mob spawner um, XP farm. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. I think that should be enough wood. Let's go ahead and make some signs now. Uh, let's see how many uh, more pieces of sugar cane I have. I think I just picked these up recently. Yeah. Then I can finish up uh, my enchanting table soon, hopefully. That'll be uh, really good, you know. One of these days I'll get around to finishing my house, too. Jeez. Shows uh, how being lazy happens. I found lots of gold, which is good, because I'll be running a minecart track down there soon. Alright, lots of sticks um, for my signs. I don't think I'll be needing that many. Let's see, that's nine. And with six, that should give me 18 signs, which should be more than enough. There we go. Alright, so we got our signs, got our torches, water buckets, some iron picks, and um, let's go ahead and bring a sword. Because that's roughly all we're going to need for this build. Uh, so let's go ahead and head out of here, and let's get all the way down to that. That yeah, zombie farm. Whoa! Creeper! Alright, um... So yeah, I was saying it was, it was pretty lucky that I found this, actually. Uh, I don't know, I was... Oh man, the spider doesn't want to do anything. Hello! Ah, there we go. Alright, sorry about that. Um, yeah, I was, I was digging around underneath in my mind that I have. And, uh... I heard zombies, and I kept on hearing them, like... What is that sound? What is that sound? And uh, I started hearing water, and I actually uh, I found this water first, and uh, and I f kept on hearing the zombie sound. Oh, I'm always going the wrong way here. Uh, I kept on hearing the zombie sound and followed it, and wouldn't you know, it, found a zombie spawner. So pretty pretty close to where I was supposed to be, Ooh. or where my house is. So I think I will uh, definitely use that to my advantage because. Having an XP farm, like I said before, especially early in the game, is super helpful, handy dandy, uh, especially when it comes to. I think I'm supposed to go. Am I supposed to go this way? Ah, no, it's this way. Okay. Follow the torches. Uh, it's really helpful when it comes to that enchanting. So let's see, I should almost be there. It's down, yeah. And around this corner, follow the arrow. Okay, I'm starting to finally uh, get a hold of my mind, or how to get there, I guess. I kept on getting lost for the longest time. Ooh, slime! Oh my gosh! No! No slime block! Or a slime ball. But I did get a carrot. I will gladly take a carrot from that. But slime is always a good a good find. Um, right, so here's the start of it. 
of my mine area, but I think it was down one of these tunnels. I'll find it eventually. Uh, but yeah, I, I completely accidentally run into it. And uh, <laughs> it was pretty lucky that I found it. So let's go ahead and kill the zombies that are going to be here. Okay, it doesn't look like there's any right now. But let's go ahead and drop some torches here. Just so they... Ooh! A spider. Just so they don't spawn. And we can take off this chest. There we go. That should prevent them from spawning. Alright, let's go ahead and clear out this area too because you're going to want to make sure that you don't have any caves nearby uh, preventing zombies from spawning. And you know what? There is a lot more over here that I have yet to explore yet. Alright. Die, creeper! Ha ha! Oops, did not mean to do that. <laughs> oh, yes. Look at that. Diamond. Perfect. Ha ha. Man, what an exciting find. Alright. But let's go ahead and grab this diamond and then get on with the build. Uh, because we have a lot of work ahead of us. Alright, grab this. Yeah, so the project shouldn't take too long. Um... Especially if I build quickly. Oh man, I'm already out of backspace. Uh, the, the biggest part is just making sure that you uh, have the right positioning on your XP farm. And have it as close to uh, where you want to be farming. So you gotta make sure you build in the right direction. Uh, so remembering that direction is always gonna be important. Jeez, there's so much stuff here. And more lava. Okay. Well, like I said, we'll worry about that a little bit later. Um, in the meantime, let's go ahead and start on this project. And we'll kind of explore this all um, in another time, in another segment. So for starters, you're going to want to go ahead and build out um, four blocks in each direction from the spawner. Three and four. Three and four. And you're going to want to clear that out from each side. Um, it's kind of scary. I can hear that lava below me. We're going to have to dig down eventually, so hopefully that lava isn't too much of an issue. Uh, if it is, we're just going to have to throw some water on it and call it a day. Alright, so there's our four. And let's go ahead and finish up this way. One, two, three, and four. And we'll clean this up too. Oh, and even got some iron ore. Nice. And what a strange little place for this uh, zombie spawner to be in. I guess it's not really strange, it's uh, well, it's kind of in the middle of nowhere, I guess. But at the same time, you know, it's at the bottom of a cavern I haven't explored yet. So maybe there's something else there. That'll be interesting. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and fill in the gaps with this cobblestone. Uh, just for making it a little bit neater. And let's go ahead and dig this out. To There's our four. One, two, three, and four. Cool. And let's go this way. One, two. All right, there we go. And just so I don't forget where this cave is, I'm going to go ahead and mark it. Um, let's see. I got to go over to here. And let's go ahead and build our way up to it. There we go. Oh, is this completely is this completely different? This looks completely different. <laughs> yeah, this is this is a completely different cave system. Wow. Okay. Well, I didn't mean to run into that, but let's go ahead and maybe if I go straight and then head to the left in a second, I should be able to catch it. Um. Yeah. There it is. Oh, and we're actually back in here. <laughs> Okay then, uh, let's fill that in with some deal right, make it look a little bit more clean. And that means I gotta continue straight then, just a little bit further, just so I can uh, access this cave later, because uh, there is still a lot there that I need to explore. And 
There we go. Okay, that's the back side of this. This cave thingy. And finish it up. And then we'll jump right back into it. Okay, there we go. Torch. And... Let's go and block that off then. And... Let's go ahead and block that off. I don't want to worry too much about other things interfering with this project. There we go. Alright. Now I got our our room starting to come together. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four. Aw, oh, man. Just not one shy. So I gotta move that back one spot. And three, four. And can I even put a block there? Yeah, I can. Perfect. And dig the rest of this out. And then I think the direction that we're gonna head with this, let's see. I can go this way into the wall. I'll figure that out in just a second. I gotta finish this up anyway. So, um, like I was saying, the reason you're gonna need the signs um, is you're gonna be making a uh, what's it called? An, a water a water elevator. So, uh, for purposes of that, you're gonna need two buckets of water to make a uh, everlasting water supply. Uh, otherwise, you're gonna run out of water quite quickly which you're not going to want to have happen. Um, also, you're going to have zombies that can spawn in these corners, so make sure you always drop a torch down right after you get done um, with clearing out this 4x4 four four section on each side, um, which should total up equal a 9x9 nine nine space in the room. Jeez, um, I can hear other stuff around me. That, that is so crazy. Uh, what if there's like a skeleton spawner right next to me? That would be kind of cool. I doubt it, but that would be uh, quite crazy. Alright, so uh, once we're done with this wall, we're going to go ahead and dig down. Ooh, okay, a um, little run in right here with some water, <laughs> or with some lava, um, which hopefully we can take care of pretty quickly here. Uh, let's see. I'm going to want to pick that up too. So what can I dump? I can dump... Jeez. I'll dump this carrot. I don't need the carrot. Alright. I wonder how much lava is here. Actually, you know what? Let's continue up a little bit further. And let's go ahead and block that off to stop the lava from going any further. And let's dig on up. Oh, jeez. Go away, lava. We don't want you here. Alright, so, uh, like I said, this lava might be a problem, but luckily for us, we have ways of dealing with this situation. So let's go ahead and, and get up here to the top of this lava system. Always want to make sure you block that off. There we go. Alright, we should be coming into it. Yep, right here. Perfect. Okay, so this is the lava from the other part. Hey, look. There's some uh, lapis right there. And let's go ahead and just get rid of this real quick. Because we don't want to have to deal with all this lava. Bum -ba Magic! Haha. -ha. Alright, let's see what that does for us over here. Okay, okay. That looks good. And what what is this lava doing? Is it gonna stop? Is it gonna keep going? Looks like it wants to keep going a little bit. Oh, and you know what? I actually lost some of my torches there. Looks like they got pushed down over here. Thank goodness it didn't start spawning. That would have been bad. Alright, and it looks like it's this pocket right here. That's giving us the issue still. There we go. Go ahead and drop a torch down here just for safekeeping. And let's get the heck out of here. Wait, I should see where this goes real quick. I don't know. Does this go anywhere? 
Hey, hey, I hate you. And it doesn't look like this goes anywhere, so you know what? I'm also going to want to connect this room to the other cave that I have. Just so I can access this when I get done. Um, Obsidian is something huge that I need a lot of, uh, especially for one of my next projects, so that's why I'm going to be doing that. There we go. Right into it. Cool. Uh, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Alright. Um, in the meantime, let's see. Are you still going lava? Let's go ahead and just do that. Just so I can get rid of that lava. And then I'll dig it out here in a second. Hopefully my... Come back here, torches. Alright, that should be all of them. Almost out of torches, man. Good thing this project is uh, almost done. Alright. So four direction or four in each direction from this zombie spawner. Almost there. Alright. There we go. Oh man. Are you kidding me? You know what? I think I'm just gonna use a block on that to stop it. There we go. You know, it's kind of funny, this uh, lava lighting actually is going to just prevent it from spawning any zombies too. There we go. Already, you can see lots of complications here. And grab this iron. Gotta have iron. Can't ever have too much. Because soon we're going to be making some rail cart systems, guys. Yeah. That'll be exciting. How many blocks is that? One, two, three, and this will be four. There we go. Oh, man. Come on, lava. Give me a break. I just want to build. I just want to build. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and block that off. Mine out this obsidian real quick. Oh, I don't think there's any way to really mine obsidian quickly, unfortunately. <laughs> there we go. So hopefully these aren't complications that you run into when you are building this. Um, but as you can see, this is a very realistic survival world. Nothing, nothing here is um, is as you plan on happening. So man, I'm gonna have to get all this obsidian. That's like five more blocks, guys. I'm sorry. This gonna take me a little bit. But in the meantime, uh, I'll go ahead and let you know what the plan is. Like I said, once you get done with this 4x4 area, you're going to go ahead and dig down two blocks. Um, and that way uh, it drops the zombies down. And then you're going to go ahead and run a line of water along a back wall to push the zombies in a certain direction. Uh, it's very dependent on what direction um, you want them to go in because, like I said, you're going to be... Um, ooh, don't burn it. Ah, dang. Burnt that obsidian right right in front of me. How dare it. All right, let's take out this row right here too. Um, but like I said, you're going to want the water to push the zombies in a certain direction. Uh, I shouldn't be standing on that block. Um, that way, then they can get collected by the water elevator. And from there, they'll be distributed to the collection point where you'll just hit them once, and hopefully they should die. If they don't die, then there's something wrong with your build, or maybe my build. I don't know. Like I said, never built this before, so uh, first time for everything. Um, and we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I do a good job with it. If it completely sucks, uh, that would be no good. Alright, looks like I got four more blocks of obsidian to grab here, and then we should be good to go. Uh, like I said, I don't want to put this obsidian to waste, and, and it is kind of preventing me from building where I need to build. Uh, I really don't want to have to come back here later and uh, have to tear apart my my project just to rebuild it. All right, two more blocks and one more. Perfect. Let's go ahead and start collecting this a little bit. There we go. 
Alright, and let's go ahead and drop down this cobblestone then. And get on with it, get on with it. There we go, and block that in. Perfect. Perfect placement every time. Haha. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Is that right? One, two, three, and four. Cobblestone that in. I don't need that there anymore. Alright. Now, there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and dig out the flooring now. Two blocks down. And then we're going to go ahead and... Uh, you know what? I should, I should find a place that I want to place my water soon, too. That way I can get that never-ending water supply. And dig down one more. Man, I wish I could just blow this up with some TNT. That would make it so much easier. Uh, but then I'd run the risk of possibly blowing up my zombie spawner. <laughs> uh, that would not be good. After all my hard work to find it, too. Alright. Just about done with this floor. And I think I am going to run this back towards my mine a little bit. Um, oops one too many but the problem with that is um, I don't know where I'm, where I'm gonna be able to stop this and have it come back um, it kinda has to look like a fishing hook shape where uh, it hooks back around to where the zombie spawner is um, just because you want them or you want to be standing as close to the zombie spawner as possible uh, that way you can maximize the number of spawns that happen Alright, there we go, there we go, looking good, looking good, and I should probably drop some cobblestone here and pick up some of this moss, because that I'll be using for something else eventually, there we go, ah, yes, yeah, I was really excited when I actually dug into this, because I was like, ooh, cobblestone, that can be one of two things, either the water is mixing with some lava, or I found myself a zombie spawner. And wouldn't you know it, I actually dug right into a moss, uh, moss cobblestone brick, and I, I was super excited. <laughs> if I got it on camera, you would have heard me say, yes, oh my gosh, because uh, I never find these. I never, ever find them. Now, it's always the people that I play with that find them, and I'm like, how did you do that? Like, where, where, where do you even start to look for one of these? That's actually a good question. If you guys happen to know where to start looking for one of these, feel free to let me know in the comments below, because uh, that would actually be pretty helpful for me. All right, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and make my endless water supply. Okay, uh, right here. Uh, right after I get this redstone, of course. And you know what? I think I'm gonna end up going back, digging out a chest, and uh, oh, jeez. This, they don't want me to start this project, guys. Alright. They're like, no, there's just so much more that you need to collect. Call now, and we'll get you not one, but two ore blocks for free. But if you call within the next five minutes. I don't know if you guys ever heard those infomercials, but that's kind of how they go. Alright, let's go ahead and get this water dumped out. One in the corner and one in the corner. There we go. Endless water supply now. Ta-da! Pretty handy dandy. And like I said, uh, you know what? I actually have a chest right here. So let's go ahead and drop this right there. And drop off these materials. Because I don't need them. Music CDs, that. There we go. And let's drop this diamond in there just so I don't lose it. Just in case I do die. All right that looks pretty good and let's go ahead and get on with it you know what I just realized uh, nah, I should be able to pick up this I realized nothing nothing at all all right there we go so like I said um, you want to try and figure out what direction you want to run this in so I'm thinking um, I want to run the zombies this way into this wall and then I'm gonna build up and then I think I'll build over this direction here so I can be pretty close to the zombie spawner hopefully I'll be right about here in this area um, so let's go ahead and dump the water now uh, just like that and we'll run it all along the backside 
There we go, there we go. And you know what? I might have even built it one too many blocks. But we'll see in a second. Let's see. From the zombie spawner. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. No, that's right. There we go. Have it all running in the same direction. And you know what? I think this, uh, this right here, there we go. Might have prevented that. Ugh. I'm gonna have to put that there. There we go. And last of the water. Man, water is so annoying. It really is. I have to replace this water or something. Oh, there we go. Alright, does that fill in? Perfect, it does. Okay, so the next thing that you want to do is you're going to go ahead and dig out this section right here. All the way across. Dun, dun, dun. Just like so. And you know what I just realized? I'm going to be building right into the path. <laughs> oh, the path that I made for getting to that um, that room over there. So I might even have to move that in a little bit too. Because that's right here. Alright, let's go ahead and move that over one then. Uh, I should just be able to do this. There we go. And if I go over one, two, three blocks. And if I dig down also, I should be able to avoid it. There we go. Hopefully this will take me right into where I want to go. Torch it out. Man, there was just so much planning that I should have done before I did this. But I had no idea what I was getting myself into. Oh well. Alright, almost there. And... Where are you? Where are you, Tunnel? Ah, right underneath it. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted to do. I think. Maybe not. Kind of? No. Not exactly what I wanted to do. I still gotta go down a little bit more. Alright. Just a little bit further. There we go. This is exactly what I wanted to do. Oh, hello. Where did you come from? I need some more torches in here, it looks like. Alright. Um, yeah, there we go. Let's go ahead and head back into our area with the zombies. Alright, so you're going to place one water on one side, one water on the other side. And what that should do is push the zombies right to this collection point right here. So let's see. I can't even get out of here. Alright, so the next thing that you're going to want to do is dig right into the wall here. And we're going to dig... Um, let's go about three right now. So you're going to put a sign on the ground right there just to stop the flow of water. Actually, let's go two. Um, that way it puts me as close as possible to this point. And then issues are going to arise now. I'm going to have to get a lot of buckets of water. There we go. And I'll fill in the rest in just a second. But buckets are going to be the the downfall of me. Alright, there we go, there we go. So, uh, I don't know if any of you have made a water elevator before, um, but the way that it works is uh, you use signs to prevent the water from going any way, any direction that you want it to go. Um, for us, we don't want it to flow towards where I am now, uh, so we're just going to stop it with the sign. The other sign is placed here to hold the next water pocket. Uh, that's going to be right here where I'm standing. 
as you see, and then we'll go sign again into the next um, water bucket. Now, of course, since I have this pocket here, I'm going to have to fill it in with blocks, and I can go water bucket into the next sign. And I go drop down. And then that's more or less how it can go. Um, actually, you know what? Wait, which, which way does that go? There we go. Okay, that's exactly what I want it to do. Uh, I go so slow. But now, like I said, uh, we're going to have to keep on going back for these water buckets so I'll go ahead and finish that up real quick and hopefully uh, hopefully it doesn't take me too long let's see we need 16 signs guys so help me help me out here that's one two three and this will be four and I think I'm running into the ceiling at this point That's four of them. And this will be five. Man, got a long ways to go. All the way back down. Yeah, fighting against water. That is no fun. Let's see. Was that five? Yeah, that was five. And then this will be six and seven. All the way back up. Six. Seven. Got so far to go. Anyway, so the reason that you do this um, is you want to raise the zombies up to a height where they will um, fall down and get hurt um, enough so that all you have to do is hit them once. Um, that's pretty much the whole point of this. It's just to make it easier for you to farm, make it quicker for you to farm. Um, and so after finishing this up, we just have to build straight back down. Um, but you want to kind of build it in a place where you'll be close to the zombie spawner. Let's see. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, and eight, and nine. Take out some more. Um, so you'll be closer to the zombie spawner so that you can maximize the amount of uh, spawns from the zombies. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. That's one, two, oh geez. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Is that right? I think that was right. I guess I'll find out on the way back up. And this is just too much counting. I should have just brought the exact amount of signs I should have or I needed. I think to be exact, you guys need 17 signs. One for the first initial doorway. There we go. One, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, twelve. This is. Oops. Uh, dang, I didn't want to put that there. Oh, man. Alright, but in total, I think I had 19 signs. So that means I should have two signs left over. There we go. When I get done here. Alright, and five more signs to go, guys. And then once we reach the top, we're going to go ahead and place our last, um, our last water bucket. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and force the water in a certain direction. Um, it's going to have to go. Mm, 
man, that's gonna be that's gonna be hard. I might be able to to force it in that certain direction though. We'll see. Let's see. There we go. There we go. There we go. I want to force the water to flow to the right, so I might be able to do that. Just try out some new stuff, maybe. Oops. And yeah, four more buckets. Four more buckets. Ha ha. Man, I can't see anything in this hole. It's so much easier to do this stuff on creative, guys. All right. All the way back down now to the bottom. La da da. Takes so long. Wonder how long it takes the zombie to get to the middle. Or to go up one of those things. It shouldn't take too long, I don't think. But you never know. Alright. Two more. And then I'll need two more buckets of water. And by then I should be done. That'll that'll be exciting. And then I'm gonna have to dig down twenty blocks, I believe. It, um, which will bring the zombies to be exactly one away from being killed. There we go. And bucket and sign and oh, that's so exciting. Almost at the top, guys. We just need one more bucket, one more sign, and one more bucket on top of that. There we go. All the way back down to the bottom. Watch out, watch out. There we go. I need to get some Aqua Affinity Boots. That's why I need my enchanting table. <laughs> Alright, last two buckets. And then we'll be done with this. This ups and downsy stuff. Alright, all the way back up. To the very top of the world. Almost there, almost there. And... Boom. Last sign. So here's our water. And let's go ahead and force it in this direction here. Hopefully I can break this block before I die. Oh no! Oh, this is scary. What, what, what is going on here, guys? Am I falling back down? Oh, I'm falling back down. <laughs> oh, this is so not helpful when you can't see what's going on. Alright, let's see. Am I back at the top now? Oh, man. I can't see anything. You know what? Let's go ahead and place a torch. Let's see, can I place a torch here somewhere? No, no, no torches. Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and have to. Let's see. Okay, if I'm in here. Oh, I have no idea which direction to go in now. Dang it. <laughs> oh man, this is the hardest thing ever. Make it look so easy. Alright, so I want to be going this way. Okay. So hopefully we can do that. Assuming I don't get turned around or anything. All I gotta do is hold the space bar and click, right? It's easier than it sounds. Especially when you can't see anything. Alright, there we go. We're through, we're through. Oh, oh. Okay, I don't know what I'm through into. Oh, I went up. Dang it! Ah. Okay, well, plus side is I now have a torch. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. I hope this is the right, the right direction. Uh, yeah, I was putting my signs on that back side. Okay. This is the right direction to travel in. 
So we're going to go ahead and dig this out until the water stops flowing. Which should be there. Exactly. And then we're going to want to dig down um, 20 blocks. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this torch though. Because I don't want to have to travel back up here and dig that out. Uh, da -da 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 -da. You know what, just to make sure uh, that it is 20 blocks, I'm going to go ahead and Google search that right now. Uh, let's see. How many blocks, or how far does a zombie need to fall to die in Minecraft? Ta-da. Top search, would you believe it or not? Alright, so the answer is 22 blocks. Um, the fall damage is calculated. Alright, so 22 blocks will leave a normal mob with a half a heart. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go down 22 blocks, guys. One, two, oh, three. Can't forget you. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Right there on this floor. All right, so let's go ahead and dig out this in just a circle around me, just so we can start getting uh, some space. There we go. There we go. All right. So this is the block that they're going to go ahead and fall onto. Let's go ahead and dig around that. There we go. Alright, and now I am uh, slightly discombobulated. I have no idea. Actually, uh, yeah, I have, I have no idea which direction to go in back to the... Um, Zombies. Let's see. I want to say it's back this way. So let's take a shot. A shot in the dark. This feels the right way. And I could be just completely wrong. You know, it's one of those things where you write down the coordinates, or you should write down the coordinates, just so you remember it. Hey, Lapis! But that's not why I'm here. Oh, oh, what did I find? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so I almost did find where I wanted to be. Pretty fortunate. But this is slightly further over than I wanted to. So let's see, where is that in accordance? Okay, so here's here's the zombie farm right here next to me. Um which means that was the far side, so that means the zombies should be right here. Is that right? I think that's right. Because yeah, I went over two blocks, went straight up, and then I came over this direction. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so let's go ahead and dig down then. And I, I think I should be able to find my mine system here. Let's see if I run this way to the left. There it is. There it is. Okay. Look at that. Alright, right to it. Just had to get my bearings there. Alright, so uh, we're going to go ahead and leave a one block space. And you know what? I'm going to come back later and I'm going to make this look cooler. Um, We'll show you a little bit more of that later. But let's go ahead and get back over to the zombie farm. Dun, 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 dun. Wait, where is it? Right there. And let's go ahead and fill in this last bucket area. With water and take out these torches. And close up the holes. Okay, get rid of that torch. Let's go ahead and get rid of the far away torches first. Oh no. Get 
get rid of that. Alright. Ooh. Ooh. There's our first zombie. Okay. Alright, this is the scariest part. Oh, let me out. There we go. Alright. So, uh, zombie farm is up and running and functional. Let's go ahead and block that off. Um, you know what? I'll leave this here just in case I ever need to come back to it. Um, it's going to give us another, another torch down there. Alright. So, um, it's not the right way. This way. Let's go ahead and head over here to... Is it down this tunnel? No. Where did it go? It was just around here a second ago. Oh, it's down at the end. Duh. <laughs> Alright, let's see how many zombies I already got going in here. Let's see, we got one. Oh, one hit, one kill. Well, as you can see, it's already functioning quite efficiently. And, uh... Oh, there we go. Wow. That was pretty quick. Up and running and ready to go. That's how you guys do it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of design work, and next time you see it, you might not recognize it. Alright, until next time, have a good day. Taekwondo out.